Anvil's control arm and axle skid plate brackets add easy protection to these vital components when off-roading. The rear control arm skid plates are made from 1 8 inch thick mild steel, while the rear shock mounts are 3 16 inch thick. These brackets only take minutes to install, but provide protection in all conditions. While you're back there, install a heavy duty B&M rear differential cover with an integrated dipstick for both form and function. Let's get these installed. We're using a lift, but you can do this at home with a floor jack and jack stands. First, to remove the factory bolts and nuts at both the left and right lower control arms. We'll use a dead blow hammer to push out the control arm bolt. With the bolt out, we can install our skid plates using the supplied hardware. It's important to make sure the 5 8 washers are in between the skid plate and frame, and then again on the outside of the skid plate. Before tightening, go ahead and install the smaller bolts. Adjust for proper fitment and torque bolts and nuts to factory specs, which is about 160 foot-pounds of torque. Repeat the procedure on the other side and you're all done with the rear control arm skid plates. For our shock mount skid plates, the procedure is a little simpler since we'll be using the existing hardware. Start by loosening the nuts on the lower left and right shocks. You'll need a big 30 millimeter wrench to loosen this bolt. With the shock bolts loose, we can slide in the shock mount skid plate over the OEM bolt. Use the supplied hardware and hand tighten the smaller two bolts, washers, and nuts to each skid plate. Adjust for proper fitment before torquing the factory specs. With our anvil skid plates installed on our rear shock and lower control arms, we can now hit the trails knowing that our rear axle is protected. Take your Bronco's performance to the next level. To shop for the latest Bronco products, enter your year, make, and model at the top of holly.com.